Hey, what is up? And welcome back to a brand new episode of The Evolve. How you guys doing on today? Welcome to the premiere. I'm glad you guys join us. Now, today I want to talk about bad meets evil because bad is meeting evil once again. But speaking of that, I can remember on the Slim Shady LP that song with him, Eminem, and Royce the Five Nine. That bad meets evil, and it, it, it really—I I, I was thinking about two of my favorite lines from from that song. One of those lines from that bad meets evil song, Eminem said, "Um, bad enough to commit suicide, and then I'll survive long enough." to kill my soul after I'm dead. And then there was this other line when Eminem had said in this song, he said, I'm not a real person, I'm a ghost trapped in a bee. Man, that was a classic, a classic Slim Shady. It, it was, it, you know, it brings me back. And that's why I'm so excited to talk about this topic on today. And that is, like I said, Eminem, well, bad meets evil is meeting Boogie. I mean, both all three, well, Eminem has his new Rapture tour starting up in February and March. He's going on tour and he has invited a few of his friends, which is Boogie and Royce the Five Nine. Legend has it that over a decade ago, two outlaws took this hometown over. Sheriffs couldn't stop them. Quickest damn gunslingers I've ever seen got murdered in cold blood. They say that the ghost of bad and evil still live in this here saloon. And on a quiet night, you can still hear the footsteps of Slim Shady and Royce the Five Nine. Life in the fast lane, but at the speed of life. Okay, so he's kicking off his tour on February the 20th at a sold-out show already at the Queensland Sports and Athletic um, Complex, well, stadium. Now, this is the seventh biggest stadium in the world. It sits about 48, a uh, little over 48,000 people. Now, it have ha that's its capacity, but it has sat more, more has attended. I think the record in attendance at the stadium was close to 60,000 people. And not just that, for those of you all that say Eminem ain't relevant, we don't be playing him in the hood. We ain't trying to hear no M. He's old now. But he, he's got another sold out stadium there in Australia. It's already sold out. And that is going to be held on the 27th at the Opnus or Opus. Optus? I can't say that. I know I'm not saying it right, but it's the Optus Stadium, and I know it's like the third largest stadium in the whole wide world. Eminem already got it sold out. It seats a little over 60,000 people, um, so it's a pretty big tour. Now, he's got several other little spots in different stadiums that he's going to be going to um, throughout New Zealand and Sydney. So um, tickets are still available, but it's going to be a big Rapture tour. Now, it's already been revealed that Boogie and both Royce the Five Nine, they have been invited personally by Eminem to come on tour with him. So, like I said, bad meets evil meets boogie. Um, so we should be, we might be seeing some new stuff or some new, or they might reveal something new. We don't know just yet. But what we do know is that both Boogie and Royce the Five Nine, they are super pumped and they are super excited about this tour. I mean, Boogie, he is still enjoying the hype and the high off of his newly released Everything For Sale album. And Royce the Five Nine, although he's not a not signed to, you know, Eminem. Um, he is still the closest thing um, to a new associate for Eminem. So um, actually, Royce the Five Nine, he put this out on his Instagram page. I'll be in Australia and New Zealand. I'll be with Eminem for his 2019 Rapture tour. And then he goes on and he talks a little bit more about the dates and how you can get tickets and whatnot. So both of them are pumped. Both of them are excited. Now, Rapture. In Bible times, well, biblically, Rapture was this 
was this event that was to come. It was an event where, where God, it is said that God was going to rapture up all the good people, all the saints and all the believers. He was going to take out in just a blink of an eye, just a second, just like that. Everybody that was a believer and everybody that was good and righteous and believed in God, he was going to take them up to heaven just like that um, before the destruction of the world. So basically the rapture was when God takes up all the good people so that they won't have to suffer what is about to become all the evilness and all the crazy destruction that he is about to deem on the earth with the antichrist taking over hmm. i think we got a clue and we kind of understand why eminem might have just called this tour his rapture tour because maybe he is saying, all right, I'm going to go out here and do this one last tour for all the people, good and all those that believed in me. I got one more special tour for you all. The rapture tour for all the good people, for everyone. For everyone that was always on my side, held me down, rapture. Because after this, after the rapture, just like in the Bible times, after the rapture comes total destruction. After the rapture comes all the bad and the evil. And Eminem had already said that Marshall is dead in the water. So with Marshall gone, we have to assume that the Sim Shady is coming back. The Sim Shady is here now after the rapture. Huh. It's just my thought. That's what I come to, putting pieces together. I like to know what you all think. All, all I know is, as for now, the Rapture Tour is happening. He's got a bunch of sold out stadiums and concerts and thousands and thousands and hundreds of thousands of people would be coming if he was in the u.s i'm just i'm just a little salty that ain't that 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 we that that, that we ain't seeing nothing yet here in the u.s but that's all right he's still doing his thing i mean hundreds of thousands of people still coming out to see him i i think back at um ja rule's uh last concert Other than that there guys, I thank you guys for watching. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, boy. I will see you all next episode. Uh, do you all think that we're kind of right with the rapture? I like to hear your, your opinions of what this might mean or what you think is to come. Am I right? Am I wrong? Do you got different? I don't know. But anyway, hey, go follow me on Twitter. Tweet it out. All that good stuff. Let's mess around. I will see you guys next episode. As always, KIP. Keep it positive. It's going to be all right. I can promise you. At the end of the day, it's going to be all right. All right. <laughs>